Koto did not even pass the student exam because bro was enlisted for the teacher's exam. Rembrandt trolled us. They had no idea what they were doing. Or did they? I think it was a mistake at the end of the day. And the craziest thing is, even if we're doing the teacher's exam, not a student exam, a teacher's exam, we passed it by just... Because no one even passes the practical exam. But the way that we did it, by collecting each of the three orbs, because most people can't only do melee or ranged or magic and they'll get three of the same kind but makoto was like i don't fucking know i gotta collect all of them and like he was just so strong he was just like grazing just a bit he literally had to think of ways to nerf himself to barely collect it now there was an assassin there was like a ninja that showed up out of nowhere who was a senpai i'm not really sure i think we saw someone at the bar that might have been someone like that i'm not really sure but let's begin today's reaction New merchant store open, nice. Academy summoned him. Oh, it's that blue girl that we saved. こんにちは、ルリア。ルリア。Yo, why are we sharing the hot pot? That's like a group. Yo, is this guy stalking her still? What is up with this blonde dude? He was harassing her before. Five days in a row? Bro just loves the hot pot? Why is this so creepy? Irumugandu. Okay, already, when you lead him with say, don't worry, but then the sinister soundtrack starts playing, like, come on. Like, look at the difference, dude. Look at the soundtrack that starts playing immediately. I ain't trusting you. I ain't trusting you. Hot pot. The fuck? Ew! No wonder they get separate bowls. Bro just eats cream out of a fucking bowl? Well, at least this is still better than the food that Mio would make. What kind of cream is that? I don't want to know. Yeah, we're a teacher. My what? Luria's what? Someone's at the school that she knows? Her family? Little sister? Mom, dad? Dude, he finished the entire bowl. It's a skeleton, don't worry. Come on! <laughs> okay, they keep doing this. It's <laughs> last episode too, right? A random intermission scene where Komoi just shows out of nowhere. Just be like, hey, Komoi still exists, guys. Hello. Very cute. As long as you don't exchange money on Academy Ground, there's no... That's the only rule? Just no money changing? Oh, it's because of his merchant stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Ten silver coins per student. Three hundred silver coins at max. I mean, three hundred coins still. We're so rich. We don't need the money here. Fewer than ten. Oh, because money's not a problem. But all the teachers here obviously want to make the most amount of money possible by getting the most kids. But Makoto will gather like just ten close knit elite group and just like invest into them. Well, he doesn't need the money though. But okay. Yo, these kids are gonna be cracked if they get taught by him. Buraito. Come away again! <laughs> Magic practical combat. Nice. Okay. Why do we need his 10 students? Can we pick our own? Alright, fuck it. Really? Don't fucking tell me that those idiots that were floating five centimeters off the ground saying, ho, 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 witness me, my magic that we shit on, saving Yuria before. They're going to be our students. Please don't. Please don't. No! No! <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. Oh, do you now? Mr. Bright is a little sussy sus, but okay, I'll keep a good eye on him. CGI fucking chairs, CGI fucking tables, CGI staircase, CGI everything here. That's the girl from the bar! This girl and someone else was- No, this girl and the instructor 
they were talking and I think the ninja was sent by some I'm not sure but they were talking at the last end of the last episode that's oh cuz he said kuznoha is that it he she something was what was the intuition from kuznoha what was that what was the flag yeah she should know might be on the employee list of names. She should know because she was at the bar last episode talking about him. Yeah, that scene. Oh, that's because I mistake her for Luria last episode, but it's like, no, they're actually related. So this is the girl that Luria wanted us to go see. Hello. Can we trust her though? Okay. Yeah, Shiki loves the cream pies. So can we trust her though? Life ain't fair, man. Boing! Yes, ma'am. Yes, we were imagining your sister's bus size. Your little sister's bus size. That's what we were imagining. Ava. Yeah, she's kind of sinister. Alright, what's Mio doing? Her cooking adventures. She's learning seafood? Her fucking master chef journey? Yeah, that's pretty efficient peeling of apples. The potato vanished? What do you mean? What did you do to it? Come away again. Oh, that's actually really masterful to do that. Like the thinnest, thinnest possible? Yeah, rotary cutting. Rotating. Yeah, imagine doing that on human flesh. Imagine doing that on human flesh. Okay, next week at the academy. Who are these idiots? Uh, maybe they're not idiots. Maybe I'm being too mean. I don't know. I have a bad habit of shitting on side characters that we've never seen before, but I love side characters. Okay. Our next lecture communicates through writing. So these are the 10 students. Thank God. They're not... Well, there's only six of them here, but I don't think any of them are part of the group that was like, harassing Luria before. Seven, actually. Girl there too. Eight. All right. We don't have the idiots. Nice. We don't have the idiots in our class. <laughs> They got no clue, bro. They got no clue. If he's ugly, I'm chilling another class. Maybe it's time to put the mask back up, but... Bro has pretty much just, like, given up the mask, and he's, like, completely embarrassed... And, like, not embarrassing. Embracing, <laughs> you know, his so-called ugliness, which I don't think he's even ugly. Good cop, bad cop? Scare him a little bit? Yo, fuck the rings and fuck our jacket. Take all that shit off. Let's release our demon lord aura. Let them know our mana presence. As soon as we walk in, they shouldn't even be allowed to fucking breathe. They can't even look us in the eye. I want that kind of first impression. Come on, scare him! Scare him! Come on! Oh my god, so hot! And this is the ugly teacher. Okay, it's not... Cobalt face! It's Cobalt the monster! Alright. Magic swordsmanship then. We don't have wind though. Wonder why we don't have wind. Okay. Probably not. Oh, the inspirational speech? Third rate. All right, let's shit talk him. No, shit talk him more. Based on your abilities, the academy is fucking sucked then. Why don't we good at every element then, huh? You want to be normal though? True. True. Three elements, minimum. These kids go and to learn today. I'm telling you, just take the fucking rings and the jacket off, man. Let them know. Mock battle. 
Yo, maybe, maybe okay mock battle with Shiki? This might be hype? Yeah. I mean, Shiki is kind of insane, right? Like, cause like, we don't really think much of Shiki because compared to Mio, Tomoe, and other people, he's not like our strongest warrior, but he definitely does still have a contract and relative to every other normal people in this show, Shiki might as well be a fucking god to them, right? But now, if someone like this gets beaten by Makoto, oh, these kids are gonna fucking learn, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is a freedom moment. Oh, she's, you know, it's a hiding the mana. It's like, how strong is he really? Ooh. Damn, he just takes it? Okay. I love how they're just like communicating telepathically while the kids are in awe. Oh. Come on, more. Show them more. Show off more. Oh, there's the fire arrow. Okay, at this point, I think the kids should realize. I think the kids are going to be like, okay, okay, you guys are fucking insane. We'll just listen. <laughs> it's over, yeah. First impressions. We're still just fucking around. Earth now. We show them fire. We show them earth. Water. Oh, wait. This is new. Have we ever seen this before? I think we've only ever seen one element fire arrow or one element water, right? But now, bro is literally fucking vaping. Yo, fire and water at the same time? We're fucking vaporizing simultaneously. And again, these are basic fucking skills. We're not even used, I don't know if Shiki is, but these arrows, these random attacks that Makoto is doing, these are pretty much like normal auto attacks, right? When are we gonna get those advanced skills? Damn, Shiki took it. So maybe Shiki kind of got carried by the Elder Dwarf's, you know, staff, but still. Oh, here it comes. Final attack. Dark magic. Mio. They're actually doing incantations. Oh, it's a different language, all right. Yo, flex on them kids, yeah! The ancient language, though, is that actually important, though? Because I thought that the ancient language here was straight up just like, I don't know, just like demi-human language. Have we ever seen him use dark magic like this while inc doing incantations? I don't think so. I just assume that he's speaking demi-human language, right? But ancient language to them. I wonder what that means. All right, important stuff. Don't spoil me. <laughs> the girls are in a fucking... The girls have to huddle up for support because they're so scared and all the guys have just lost, you know, any type of motivation. We scared them off too much. Watch them all just drop out. Yo, I would show up. If you want to be stronger, I would... I would wait. The ponytail girl got hurt? It was... Oh my god. Pussy. Walk away then, pussy. Nice. This guy's got mindset. What is it? Noble language? Graph language? Weird? The, the, the weird language actually- the tongue of the weird, right? There's like- there's like common tongue which is like used by humans. Noble tongue, graph- there's a weird tongue. I thought it's just demi-human tongue, but okay. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe we accidentally- well, it, she got hit by one of the impacts on the attacks, but oh my god! The Riz. Hey, hey, careful now! Easy. You got that healing. Nope. Oh my god, this guy. He's too good. Why are you upset? You should be happy. Good, 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 good. All the guys are pretty much inspired. And all the girls were scared as fuck, but now they're just simping over Shiki, so we got it. I'm not sure about these two in the far right over there, but most of them are seems to be inspired. Well... The girls were seduced. The guys are inspired. They got all respect on us now. Maybe I'll come back. Who knows? You look okay. What do you mean? 
Oh shit, there's that lake that we created. Wait, what? For being punished? He's punishing the humans for fighting the demon. He's punishing the humans for fighting the demon. Who is he in this context? Surely he's not referring to Makoto, right? Uh, he doesn't even know about Makoto, right? Right? The goddess is a she. Who's he? Who is he? I don't know. Who is it? Makoto. Okay, so basically, out of pure fucking schizophrenia and delusions, he thinks that they're being punished by some heavenly being, some some divine being, the sorcerer dressed in blue and red, Makoto. <laughs> Majin? Bro, we were just trying to survive! <laughs> oh? Tomo will see that, you know, Makoto did this, yeah? <laughs> yeah, she's probably just like realizing like the ridiculousness of what happened and how other people are perceiving her, right? Like, I can't believe the guy dressed in blue and red, like Makoto, is now some kind of like, I don't know, some divine being that's there to like punish the humans for being bad or something. <laughs> Well, if that... Hold up. Will this lead to peace between the humans and the demons? Out of being scared that this man dressed in blue and red is going to show up again and punish them? Would... Does this lead to peace between... Oh, that's kind of interesting. I'm not... If other people... If the rumor spreads and other people start to believe in that shit, right? I'm not sure. <sighs> Oh, only five people stuck around. Misra. Temples. Smart guy. Diana Severus. Diana. Diana. Okay. He's married. <laughs> well, kids get married super young back then, right? Like you're like you just turn 16 and you get offered to like some kind of different noble or some shit. Only one girl left. Aberia. Alright. Really? Sister, maybe brother? Okay, there's a she has a brother. Izumo. Interesting. Jin. The sword guy. I'm not sure. Magic swordsmanship? Ancient language, but is it just demi-human language or what, what is that language? So that is the language that he was speaking during casting like the dark magic, right? Oh, he understood it! The goddess hates us. <laughs> Ignored. <laughs> we just move on. Uh, makes you tired. Okay. And that's what we're doing, right? That's what we do every time that we focus so much by, you know, shooting the bow, right? We are pretty much simulating this, like... Where does the mana go? He just, like, disappears, right? I'm not really sure because he's not expending all his mana when he's shooting the bow. He's just so focused that it looked like his presence disappeared, which seemed like... He was gone and the mana was gone, but then he comes back after that. I'm not really sure if he's spending all the mana when he does that, or if he simply focuses so much that it disappears. Regardless, exceeding one's limits can result in death. This is practical lessons. <laughs> Don't worry, I'ma fuck you up, but I got some potions for you. <laughs> No, thank you. And all the kids are- <laughs> And all the kids are- <laughs> Yo, this is absolute brutality. And we're kind of seeing a little bit more of the side of Makoto that seems like- Like, look, look. All of season one, I think a lot of people have a misunderstanding of what kind of character Makoto is. They think that he's some kind of like, good boy. Nice kid, but I think that he's fucked in the head. There's a couple scenes where he gets really irritated and mad. Even last episode, he was like, should I fucking burn this entire city to the ground or some shit? There's joking scenes like that. And even right now, he's, he's popping off a little bit, looking very evil. But like, the fact that he just kids up. And I know we can heal them up, but like, what is this guy about? I want to know more about Makuto. Well, the girl's still up. Lethargy. 
puking in rainbow. Oh, teamwork! I'd like to think that bro just gave up here and he's like, I'm so tired of fighting Makoto. I can't be sensei enough. And you know what? I want to tap out here. Take some of my power. I'll heal you. I'm out. Peace. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Bro just wanted out. So he really is the strongest of them all, huh? Jin? My willpower isn't recovering. Don't worry, it's rainbow colored. No. Well, let me let you experience the limits. Everything. He is quite the oppressive teacher, though. Ah, uh, Who Brother of the blonde the, 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 the fire girl. Who right? Right, right. That's the bro. Oh. Interesting. We know his little sister now or big sister. I'm not really sure, but that is the creepy dude. Bro sticking roids. Bro on gear. So, if you look at the back of her hair, the only character cue we can get is she's wearing a uniform, but it's like kind of like orangish hair, okay? Brown, oranges, okay. Oh, it's them. Oh, oh we're just gonna ignore it? All right. No, oh, he, he recognizes. He knows the PTSD. <laughs> the PTSD. Yeah, he is. Bro, so scared, man. Really? Probably most uh, Jin guy. Jin seemed pretty promising. Okay, Mary Boy's got good decision making skills. Smart. I like Abelia. She didn't give up. He, he just wanted to get out of the fight, in my opinion. And Jin is probably the leader. Like the strongest guy, yeah? He's the captain. I'm not sure. I feel like he's doing a pretty good, good job as a teacher. Obviously, not, you know, too nice. But sometimes you got to push kids to the limits for excellence. It's kind of mean, but it, it does get results. And end of episode. Never mind. I got baited. Oh, the ninja. He's the one that got... He survived? Bro, how the fuck did he survive this? We we literally punched him or something so hard. Bro went out like fucking Team Rocket. He, there's no way he could survive that fall. <laughs> Capable of shattering a blade made from the scales of the greater dragon Mitsurugi. Have we heard the name Mitsurugi before? I feel like Mitsurugi is the name of the hero in Konosuba that I could shit on, but I don't think we know this Mitsurugi thing, right? Mitsurugi? We have? Dragon we nuked? Mitsurugi. Lancer! Lancer! Sophia Bulga! Lancer! Ah! Right, right, right. I'm my bad. Because they said, he said he was like Mitsurugi, but call me Lancer, right? He had like a different name, right? Kind of like Shin and Tomoe. Mitsurugi and Lancer. Interesting that the dragon has like their actual names and, you know, they have like a different name. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Bright dude, I knew we couldn't trust this m Get rid of part-time teacher immediately. This m I knew he was fucking sus right off the bat. He came off way too kind, you know? And that is the episode. Goddamn, we're a teacher now. And we're kind of a mean teacher, but in a good way. Sometimes these kids need to learn their fucking lesson. So we gotta push them to the limit. The power difference, well, not the power difference, the display of power between, you know, uh, Makoto and Shiki to let these kids know that we're not fucking around. That was pretty cool. You know, Shiki is like, obviously not as strong as, you know, Tomoe or Mio, but still compared to regular humans, he is like a god and everybody just gets rid up by Hiki Shiki. Some of the important things that was set up in this episode, I guess, is the fact that there's this girl that's giving, you know, blonde boy steroids. Um, the fact that he's joined here, Blight is pretty much setting us up. There is a little bit of the sister, right? Um, Luria's sister is a librarian that can we trust? Maybe it was a red herring last episode. Maybe they're faking us out and she's actually a good person. Mio's on a cooking journey. We got the new kids. All right. We are now known as some kind of fucking 
being, a god that punishes humans for fighting with the demons, which is really funny, but I shouldn't be laughing at a guy who's literally shell-shocked and doesn't even know what to do with his life anymore. That's kind of funny because Tomoe is just laughing. <laughs> this guy is shell-shocked, literally a war veteran. He's just like, I can't live with life anymore. And Tomoe is like, <laughs> that's my young master for you. And that's pretty much the episode, man. Next episode, is, it'll be pretty interesting to see what Bright is going to be doing. But there's no way that, you know, Makoto's going to get done by this fucking idiot. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.